Welcome back to an introduction to basic concepts of maintenance and reliability. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the seven questions of RCM. These seven questions form the basis of any RCM implementation process. Each of these seven questions is actually a step towards the implementation of RCM. Once you understand these seven steps of RCM, you can claim to know the basics of reliability-centered maintenance. The seven questions are, what are the functions and associated performance standards of the asset in its present operating context? In what ways does it fail to fulfill its functions? What causes each functional failure? What happens when each failure occurs? In what ways does each failure matter? What can be done to predict or prevent each failure? And what should be done if a suitable proactive task cannot be found? Now let us look at each of these questions and understand how each question is actually a step towards implementing reliability-centered maintenance. Coming towards the first question, you have to understand three things. Functions, performance standards, and operating context. Do you remember we discussed this matter earlier in the course in the failure modes and effects analysis lectures? Let us get a brief review. The function of a pump is to pump water. However, it is not that simple in RCM because it is lacking performance standard and operating context. A pump's function will be to pump water from the underground tank to the overhead tank with a flow rate of at least 100 gallons per minute. Now this is a proper functional statement in the context of reliability-centered maintenance. It clearly describes what the pump needs to do and also lays down the performance standard in the operating context. So the answer to the first question of RCM becomes the first step in implementation of RCM. What is it? It is to ascertain the functions of the equipment in your plant, these functions must not be generic. They must always include the performance standard in the operating context. The second question is in, in what ways does the equipment fail to fulfill its functions? The ways in which a piece of equipment could fail are known as functional failures. For example, the pump could fail in performing its function if it trips or if the flow rate drops below 100 gallons per minute. So, the second RCM step is to work out the different types of functional failures that your plant equipment could experience. The third question of RCM is, what causes each functional failure. The cause of a functional failure is called a failure mode. So the pump could trip because of its circuit breaker or because of a motor burnout. The pump's flow rate could drop because of a leakage or because of component wear. This is what the third step of RCM is. It is about working out all the different failure modes that the equipment and your plant could experience. The fourth question of RCM is what happens when each failure occurs? That is to say, what are the effects of each failure? For example, the effect of a circuit breaker tripping would be that an alarm sounds in control room or maybe 
red light flashes over the pump to grab attention of operations people. In this way, the fourth step of RCM is to figure out all the different types of failure effects. When you complete this fourth step, then what you have actually completed is a failure modes and effects analysis, or the famous FMEA. That is to say that the first four questions of RCM are actually a failure modes and effects analysis of your plant equipment. An interesting point to reveal at this stage is that RCM can be applied at the design and development stages of projects in order to eliminate failure modes. Under such a case, the failure modes in effects analysis is referred to as design FMEA. In design FMEA, reliability and maintainability is baked into the project. It is inspired by what is known as the one 10 hundred rule. The rule says, for every one dollar you spend in good engineering design, you save ten dollars in maintenance and one hundred dollars in failures. Or like a wise man from Ford Motor Company once said, that the company vision should be how to prevent maintenance, not how to do it efficiently. Let us take a break here so you may absorb what has so far been learned and we will continue our discussion on the last three questions of RCM in the next lecture.